So let's go ahead and do this problem. So what did we say? We said, um, we've got this chemical equation here that says two mercury, two oxides decompose. So hopefully you guys see this is a decomposition reaction, right? So every reaction you guys should be thinking about all of this stuff that you've learned. But anyways, mercury, two oxide decomposes into giving you two mercuries and one oxygen molecule. Okay, so that gives us a lot of information in that chemical equation. So what our problem says is um, we've got 1.43 grams of mercury 2 oxide. What is the total mass of oxygen that we'll make if the reaction goes to completion? Okay. So the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out what the mass of mercury 2 oxide is. Okay. So when we do that, we got to how do we do that? We look up at the periodic table, right? We say, okay, well, mercury is here, 200.59. And we add that to oxygen. I'm just going to say 16. And we get for, remember, the molar mass of mercury 2 oxide, we're going to say is 216.59. Grams per mole. Okay. Okay. So with this information here, the mass of mercury two oxide, we should be able to get the number of moles of it. Okay. Is everybody okay with where I'm going with this? So let's do that. So the number of moles of mercury two oxide is going to be the mass. <coughs> times the inverted molar mass, okay? So remember I said this is kind of the one line way of writing or, or the text message way of writing it. So if we're going to really make it functional, we're going to write it out like that. Remember, this is a ratio whether we have it this way or flipped upside down, okay? So let's just flip it upside down and use it properly so we can get those grams out of the way. So we got one mole is 216.59 grams, like that. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Remember, this is moles of mercury oxide. Right. Is everybody okay with what we've done so far? So, what does the chemical equation tell us? Remember, we're looking for oxygen, the mass of oxygen. So what do we know about the number of moles of mercury oxide relative to the number of moles of oxygen that we're going to make? Two to, two to one ratio, right? So remember, just like what we said in the, before we turned on the video, we can make another conversion factor out of that, right? So two HGO, or we'll say two mole HGO equals one mole O2, like that, right? So what do we do here? Multiply by, so now we're not doing the number of moles of mercury oxide, right? We're going to find the number of moles of O2. Okay. So we've got two moles mercury oxide, one mole O2, like that. Okay. So what did we do before, or what are we doing now? Cancel cancel to find the moles of oxygen. Is everybody okay with what we've done? Remember, it's like going across a river. Step on the next stone, step on the next stone. If you try to jump to the very last stone, you'll probably jump into or fall into the river and float downstream, okay? But this is not what we wanted, right? What did it ask for? The mass of oxygen or the grams of oxygen, okay? So this is the moles of oxygen. So Instead of the number of moles, so N is like the number. That's why I'm using that. Let's look for the mass of oxygen. Do we know something that converts the number of moles of oxygen to the mass of oxygen? What is that? What is it called? Uh, not of oxygen, it's called the molar mass, right? The molar mass, okay? So it's going to be, well, 16 times 2, right? So it's going to be 32. So what do we know? Um, the molar mass of O2 is going to be 
32.00 grams per mole. Okay. So we've got one mole O2 equals 32.00 grams of O2. <coughs> cancel, cancel. And is that what we were looking for? The mass of O2? At least placate me, guys. Tell me. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay, cool. So, if we do that, right, what are our units here? Grams of O2, right? Let's calculate it now. So, 1.43 uh, times 32 divided by 216.59. Divide that number by 2. And I get the number 0 0.10. Five six, and is that the right number of sig figs? No, because we started with three over here. So, 0 0.106, and then we'll just move this to closer. Grams of O2, like that. Okay, and of course you can put that in the scientific notation if you prefer. Do you know about 0 0.106? That's a pretty reasonable number to be able to read. Are there any questions on anything like this? Again, guys, I know it seems like a lot, but you know every time you've got a ratio, it's a conversion factor. And now you know the chemical equation could be used as a conversion factor. The other thing that's very important is to remember molar masses convert moles to grams, grams to moles. Okay, So you can use that going from grams to moles here, but remember, this only tells you moles to moles, okay? So you can't do like what you were trying to do at the beginning, say, because we got this many grams of this, well, we have half of that many grams of oxygen because they weigh different amounts, okay? It's like saying, you know, I don't know. I could make up an analogy, but I don't want to ruin the video. So are there any questions? Okay, cool.